Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. This little journal is finished, so I thought let's do a flip through. I bought this journal, well, I bought it uh, I think about eight years ago, and I started working in it on uh, the 15th of April in 2013. That's seven and a half years ago. That's when I made this. Oh my gosh. So it took me a while. This one was just a few weeks ago. <laughs> I need to find out the date and put it over. Oh, I did. It's October 2020. But first, guys, I have something to tell you, because next month, December, I'm going to take the month off. Well, that's not completely true. Uh, I am going to upload some little videos, but I'm not going to do a, a dilution and more on Monday. And then on Wednesday, I create a video and on Saturday, a uh, collection video. I'm just going to upload little bits of December. I'm going to upload a few pages uh, of my December daily or uh, a little flip through of my December daily. And I have four <laughs> advent calendars that are very interesting, two with stamps and one Disney and one just candy. Um, I might open a few of those. I might show you my Christmas tree. I don't know yet. So I am going to film a little bit, but not, um, you know, every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. So I'm just going to take, uh, well, I, I am going to take some time off, <laughs> but I'm still going to film. If you know what I mean. Anyway, you'll find out. I'm going to start Monday with a video of me going to a Christmas garden center thing. <laughs> and I'll tell you more about it. Okay, but now this journal. So, as I said, I started this on um, April 2013. I had this lovely stamp that I bought in Las Vegas when we were there years and years ago. And I just wanted to try out some crayons that really didn't work the way I wanted it. I can remember, but still with the stars over here, very subtle, I thought, ah, oh, this is nice. And the rest of the book, actually, I started this journal uh, just for the fun of it. It doesn't have to be nice. It doesn't have to mean something. It was just doing something on the background, gluing something over it and just having fun. So that's why I have this. <laughs> And actually, I really do like that these are look, look a bit like tentacles as well. It's really funny. So uh, this was with a jelly plate. I think I bought it around that time. So it was one of my first jelly plate pages. And then uh, Delusion Octopus. <laughs> I really like it. Okay, and then this one, guys. I think it's also with a jelly plate that I cleaned on here. This is a stencil that I put on my jelly plate and then cleaned on here, I think. And I just drew a bit around it because I wanted to glue on this cute picture of two st uh, storks, I think. They go <laughs> yes, two storks. <laughs> it is a vintage picture, so it took me, I know it took me a lot of courage to just glue it in. But if I hadn't done that, it would have been in a drawer and I wouldn't have seen it. And now I've seen it for seven years every time I open this book. So that's really nice. And um, I have no idea what I did. I just bent over it again with, uh, I think it was my Faber-Castell gelatos. Trying those out. Oh, and then this. That's really nice. That's really bright and fun. <laughs> again, cute little pictures. These aren't vintage. These are uh, reproductions. And I just wanted to use some stamps and some doodling. And it. this is really random. <laughs> Uh, this was 2015. So these pages <laughs> took me two years. <laughs> okay. Well, in 2015, I picked this up, up again. And oh, I remember this one. Look how cute. This is from the magazine The Flow. And I absolutely love these colors. And then I had this really cute picture I got from my mother-in-law. This is vintage, by the way. And I just felt using these colors. I think these are... Um, a ranger, Tim Holtz, what were they called? Those acrylic paint daubers thingies. <laughs> yeah, they don't work anymore, but they did back then. Really nice. Just random, and then random some, some lamps hanging. Okay, and the next one, actually, first you need to see uh, this one, and then <laughs> the other one. This is a cute, cute little kitty. It's just a weird page, again, with some paint that I just, I think with my finger spray spread out and put some watercolor on it. I just wanted to use this cute little kitty. And it's just a random page. <laughs> I put lots and lots of pearls on it because I think this is where my lots of dots started, this page. <laughs> I just thought it was so kitsch, but it was just fun. I think I made it on the same day as this one. 
No, I didn't. But wait, this is 2014. Now this is 2015. I think I skipped a page. Okay. Anyway, 2015. I made this cute kitty. And then I also have... Let me see. Ta-da! This kitty. <laughs> it's Grumpy Kitty. <laughs> it's Grumpy Cat. And um, again with... Um, I think my uh, Faber-Castell again. I have no idea. Paint anyway. And uh, it's just weird. But I like it. And I do love the little dots on the stars. This is one of my favorite stamps. <laughs> so as you can see, it's just random. I just love it. So then I made this one. Okay, so this says, I am who I am, just deal with it. And that was the beginning of my journey in 2015. I'm a huge Hello Kitty fan. And people seem to have trouble with that. And I thought, you know what, I am who I am, just deal with it. So I've got gold underneath, look at it. So I, these are my gold um, distress stains, I think. And I just glued on some stuff and doodled a bit and it was lots of fun. And by the way, by now I'm selling my Hello Kitty collection. I'm still a huge Hello Kitty fan. I always will be. But um, yeah, my huge collection I'm selling so that I have room for Alice because she can't collect everything. You can collect a lot, just not everything. <laughs> and then I made this one. Oh, I can remember this one. Again, with a bit of paint on the background and a bit of gesso, a bit of silver, I see. And then I had this really beautiful picture. And it says, shh, don't say a word. And then I have this <laughs> really weird... I think Nortje drew this for me. I was wanted to do this and then she drew this for me. Uh, I put some paint on it. Let me see. No, this is torn out. Sorry, I uh, thought I gessoed over it. She saw me... Uh, getting this picture out and then she drew this. This is very creepy. It's a little fellow with his mouth sewn shut and says mm -hmm. and shh. Actually, so it looks like a lovely page. Cherish today. Today is lovely and then actually it's kind of creepy. <laughs> very weird. Then I have this one. These are markers that Nortje had and um, <laughs> this is all in, this is all in January. Okay. Well, anyway, my daughter had these markers that uh, they said was, were waterproof, but they turned out they weren't. So you got this really weird thing. So she was very distraught that her mar markers weren't what they said they were. But actually, it was kind of fun. So we drew uh, a tree. She did it as well. And then we sprayed some water on it. And then this happened. <laughs> so then we also made one in color. Didn't run as well as uh, the black one. It's just weird, but it's just fun. This is just fun. And actually looking back at this, I remember doing this. It's just fun. <laughs> and then best day ever. That was uh, 15th, uh, no, 2015, January 20th. Probably it was a good day. <laughs> I have no idea what I did here. I think I sprayed a little. This one was with, um, what's this? Somehow with watercolor doing something. Uh, I have no idea. I think the first time t uh, using my dilution sprays and putting a little bit on here and then le letting it drop, uh, spraying lots of water on it, and then just some random collage. Again, also on the 20th. 20th. It was a busy day. <laughs> and then <laughs> this random one. I just wanted to make something with these colors. So I used a lot of gesso over here and then these colors of paint. And then I had these cupcake um, pictures and I just glued them on randomly just it's just and it says over here it's a cupcake page <laughs> it just says cupcake <laughs> it's so weird but it's fun i'm stuffed it says over here <laughs> another weird page this is february 2015 i was on a roll in the beginning of 2015 i bought this at paper chase uh, we don't have I don't think, anyway, we have paper chase in the Netherlands. But at the Bijenkorf, which is a really fancy uh, department store, they do have a little section with paper chase. And my no daughter and I went there every time. Uh, by then, back then, she was still studying, I think. 2015? Yes. And sometimes we went to the Bijenkorf in Amsterdam. <laughs> and... Uh, I love paper chase and I love these cute little sticky notes and there was also tape so I thought I need to do something with this so I did I made this <laughs> it's just weird and over here it's blue and then over here it's white but it's fun <laughs> this one is really this I remember these two pages just really randomly doing something I made them on the same day 
<laughs> also, oh, in January 2015. I just had this lovely little boy and I just uh, drew this. It's just so random. And then I also have a silly goose. <laughs> it's just so stupid. But I had these two hands that made this uh, come together a bit. It's just fun. I just made this with a stamp or I don't know, a marker and then just let it drip. I have no idea. It was just weird. <laughs> and fun. The next page. Oh, this one. I just um, used a lot of... Oh, what was this? Um, oh, I remember. <laughs> it's been a while. I think this is 2015 as well. Uh, oh, by the way, over here I have some little tabs that I just glued on because it was fun. <laughs> I see one over here. So, anyways, um, this I used again Faber Castell Gelatos and I just scribbled a little bit and then. I have no idea, made a bit of a wash over it, used some water and I stamped over it with uh, silver and it's, it's a crackle stamp. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it makes it shimmer and shine. And then I drew this, I don't know why, just because I can. Bit, bit Diane Reevely like with this. <laughs> and uh, oh, I've got this beautiful border over here. It was just having fun and it's so totally different from what I do now. I'm not sure if I could do this again. I think it would be too simple maybe. Although this was is a background I could use but now I would glue on a picture or a stamp and, and a quote. So maybe I should try something like this again. Over here by the way I have, you see that? You could put this on here and then heat, put the heat hole on, heat tool, <laughs> difficult, underneath and then this would melt and you had some lovely structure over here. I think Tim Holtz again. And then this one, look at this. I remember making this and it just didn't go the way I planned it. So I just kept adding layers and layers and layers. And then, well, it ended up like this. Get away. And then suitcases and a butterfly like, you know, fly away. <laughs> I really would like to get away at the moment. Oh, go on holiday. Good times. Anyway, this was fun to make. Totally different. There is a, uh, a cart beneath this, underneath all these layers, I think I have a stamp of that because I don't feel paper. So I think I stamped a, a, land, a map underneath. I said a card, that's Dutch. <laughs> okay, and then this one, start each, start each day like it's your birthday and I love my birthday. So this was just trying out some jelly plate stuff. I Back then I had bought a, a small jelly plate and I really wanted a little jelly plates. They didn't have it back then. So I just cut a jelly plate in, into pieces, which was really scary. But then I got these things. So I made this and it looks a bit nice together. So that's nice. <laughs> this is the most random page I have. I just wanted to add some color to the page and uh, it's not really a wonderful background, but I thought, yeah, what shall I do with it? It's just color but it, it, these are my favorite colors and I just randomly started doodling over it and it's not even pretty it's a bit weird but I love looking at it every time I see this I get happy it's probably the colors and I love stuff like this and you know dots and this and this one these make me happy to look at this I think it has a bit of a mid-century feel 50s 60s that's just a weird page but I love it oh there's a page that's worse than this one it's this one <laughs> It's really random nothing. I had some gel pens that were neon. So then you do this. That was fun. <laughs> and this one, whoa, also very neon. Oh, the, the same gel pens. Look at this. It's very neon, very bright. And I just made a page with paint, just layers of paint. And then just um, some stencils and started doodling over it. So new day, new chance. <laughs> Like I said, it's a random, really, really random journal. And then this one, you know, I just finished this one uh, last week. And now I see I forgot one thing. Wait a minute, where's my pen that I used? I don't know which one I used. This one needs to be a bit bigger. Because I started this uh, also again years ago, I think maybe four years ago or so, maybe five. And I never finished it. So when this book was finished, I found out that this page, only half a page, this page was done and the rest wasn't. So um, I doodled the rest. Uh, 
uh, last week, I think, and, and right now. So over here I had some very old paint that I had, some gold paint and some... Uh, it's again stuff I bought when I was in Las Vegas, so that's been about uh, 15 years or so. And I was wondering, does it still work? So I just put some little dots on here and I just did this. And then it just didn't spread out the way it was supposed to be. So uh, I got these dots and then I just thought, yeah, what shall I do with this? Well, just do it all around it. And look at it. Pew, it's a busy page. And these two. I made these two when I was at my mom's. I was there, my daughter was there, my sister and my mom. We were just all making something nice, um, uh, coloring, and I don't know what we were doing. But I had this little journal with me and I just made these colors. I saw a video on making this with uh, Q-tips. You just bind a few of them, about 10 or so, together with an elastic band. And then dip it in your paint and just do this. And look at it. Looks awesome. And this was when I started my scribbly face. <laughs> face. I want scribbly face. Scribbly face. It's almost the same. Um, I can I can see a few Dutch words. Gemaakt. Well, actually, that's the only word. <laughs> word. Zelf. Okay. Anyway. Uh, and over here, I was just working with colors and going over it with a bit of white. It's it's nothing. But I remember it was fun. We had lots of fun and it's fun to look at. Now I would put a picture on it and quote and stuff. There are no quotes in this book except for, you know, so, something like this that's already on the picture. That's that's the difference. And look, I made this one as well on the same day. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Lots of colors, lots of layers, just randomly doing stuff. <laughs> and I wrote words in here. I have no idea what it says. Oh, it says that we went... What does it say? Wait a minute. It's something about a, an English word for flowers. Uh, for, for the English word for flower, <laughs> for bloom, which is Dutch. It's flower. Something like that. Can't even read it. It's not important. It just looks, looks nice. And then I had this one. This one I made... You can see the difference. I made this one, I think, last year. Look at the difference. This is just all random, a bit... Like this, and then you've got a page that looks really nice and smooth and... <laughs> Let it snow. I think I made this at the beginning of the year. And now I've got this in my head. Let it snow, let it snow. And lots of dots. You can see it's a page of the last few years. And this one I made not that long ago. I didn't put a date on it. Maybe I can find the video back and put a date on it. This was just fun, just uh, stenciling, doodling, stamping, stamping, stamping. In Dutch, it's stamping, stamping. <laughs> I try not to laugh at my own jokes, but we all know I'm hilarious. <laughs> See a quote uh, from this moment. I needed a quote, and uh, here it has, says, "Let it snow." And probably this one will have a quote as well. Well, hope, dream, wish. I remember making this. This was also last year, I think, or this year, beginning of the year. It looks really nice. This these pages uh, are different. Can you can you spot the difference? This is just randomly having fun, and over here it it's a composition maybe. I don't know exactly how to say that, but look at it. It's just finished. I love it. Be fabulous. But this is nice as well. <laughs> but I do like that you see the difference between seven years ago and last year. <laughs> This was an awesome page to make. I love all these colors. This is watercolor, I think. And I had this sticker of this bird and I just wanted to add some stuff to it. Look at it. I like it. And then this one, be fabulous. How did I make? Oh, this was just with a marker, I think, or, or watercolor. I don't even remember. But making, I think with a watercolor. And I just glued this over it. And of course it has a quote. It must be dots. Oh, there are little dots over here. <laughs> and these are my favorite um, shapes. <laughs> Took a while to find the word. And this one. Look at this one. This one was awesome to make. I made this one not that long ago. But again, um, it has a quote on it. They all have a quote on it. I loved making this one. I gessoed it and then I went over it with watercolor and then... I went over it again and I just picked up the watercolor a little bit. Yeah, that, that didn't make sense, did it? Well, you have to check the video. <laughs> I 
And then this one. This one was awesome to make. It took such a long time. I had new markers. I wanted to try them out. So I uh, made this with washi tape. All those little squares and then uh, I just filled it up with markers and then took out the washi tape. It was a lot of work but it was really fun and it looks amazing. And this is by Diane Reevely. <laughs> oh and this one I made not that long ago. This is just so cute. So this is with a smooth background and um, I don't even remember. <gasps> I think how did I make this? Do you have that too? When you see something you think, how did I make this? I made this I think with the illusion uh, spray on here or something. And anyway, I stamped on it with water and I picked it up. Oh, not dilutions. This is Distress Ink. And then I wet my stamp and I put it on here and took it off. So I took off the ink. So that's the white stuff. And this is just a cute little picture. They're going on a big adventure. And my autumn page. I love autumn. I made this only a few weeks ago. And I really like it. It's got lots and lots of layers. And I used my um, memory keepers. No, my we're memory. <laughs> I used this thing. What? What's it? What's the brand name? It doesn't say on here. Wait. We're memory keepers. Yes, my punch board. I used that for the first time. And. I loved it. I really love this page. Okay, we're almost there, guys. We're almost finished. This one, oh, I loved making this one. This was so much fun with the jelly plate and lots of doodling and stamping and this stencil of Audrey Hepburn. Turns out I'm not an afternoon person either. A quote, of course, and see, dots. <laughs> Then this one I made last week. Was this last week or the week before that? This was so fun to make. It was so simple. But again, a background, a picture and a quote. That's what I do now. And there must be a dot. No, there was no dot on here. <gasps> Insane. <laughs> I loved her. I just love these two together. It's so random, but I love it. And then the final page, of course, lots and lots of dots and circles. And my cute little uh, cats on apple tree stamps. I do have a cats on apple tree st stamps. Oh, advent can calendar. And uh, I can open one every day. And there's these little stamps in there. So I've got, I think, 31. Now it's 24, probably. 24 or 25, I don't know. Of these little, little, cute little stamps. So I can open one every day. So I might film that uh, in the next coming weeks. Uh, me opening some of these stamps. I've got an art by Marlene advent calendar, so that stamps as well. And um, like I said, a Disney calendar. I hope there's some Alice in there. I know there's some Alice in there, but <laughs> exciting. And then some candies. So I might just film that. But um, it's really fun to go back through uh, an old art journal that you made. Because look at the difference of this. Bright colors, by the way. And then this and then this you know it gets to be i don't want to say nicer because i do love this but this was just no idea what i'm doing just doing something actually over here i still have no idea what i'm doing i'm just always doing something and that but it ends up really nice that's the difference and it starts let me just see <laughs> this is one of my best pages it starts um a bit over here although no it starts over here it really starts over here. Look at the difference. That's really fun to see. Okay, so I need to figure out what date this is. And this is an in-between period because, you know, this is just a random... Just putting something on the page. And then over here I really meant to make something like this. And then I have pages that are really, really nice to look at. <laughs> okay. What do you think of my cute little journal? I would love to know. Is there a favorite page? I do love my grumpy cat. <laughs> that was so much fun to make. Um, and this one. I love this. And by the way, there are dots on here, of course. A few one. A few one. A few. Here's one as well. I do have a blue one. A pink one. A yellow one. That's more. Eff the longer you look, the more you see. But there's not a blue one on here. Now that's a bit sad. Green. Pink. Yellow. And another yellow one. Okay. I'm just going to leave it on this really silly page, these silly pages. And I would love to know what you think of this journal. Do you have journals like this too, where you can really see 
how you progress and just I just want to make more of these just silly fun pages and not think about it I, I'm not sure if I can even do this again I think it's gonna turn out like you know like pages like this <laughs> okay that's it for today, guys. I would love it if you hit, give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And um, like I said, next month, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to film and check in every now and then. But uh, not the normal, what I normally do every week, three videos. It's just going to be little, little snippets of December. So that's it for today. And all that's left to say is, groetjes uit Holland. Greetings from Holland.